Hey everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Share YouTube channel. For today's fish craft, we are going to create our very own fishing lure using a wine cork, a cork popper. Poppers are best for fishing along the surface of the water and they get their name from the popping action that's created as you reel in the lure with short, quick bursts. Poppers essentially mimic prey struggling on the surface of the water, which is sure to attract a bass. Let's get started. First use a Phillips screwdriver to create a hole right through the middle of the cork. Next, measure out three lengths worth of the wire and cut. Then, take the wire and pinch it about approximately one inch from the end and bend it to make a loop. Then twist the wire around itself to create a loop. This is where the fishing line will be tied on. Next, pass the straight end of the wire through the cork until it stops at the loop you've created. Then, on the other side of the cork, about a half an inch from the cork, you're going to bend the wire and add the treble hook. You'll notice that we've placed the barb covers on the end of our treble hook barbs, just to make them a bit safer to handle. Now that you've got the treble hook on, wrap the wire around itself to secure the hook. Cut off the extra wire. Bend it down. And you're ready to go fishing. Practice the knots you've learned to tie fishing line onto your lure. Rig it up using monofilament or braided line, a moderate action or medium powered rod, and a bait caster or spin cast reel. Cast it out along the edge of cover, branches, fallen trees, a dock. Think like a bass, where would you want to hide? And reel it in using short, quick spins on the reel. As the cork popper pulls through the water, the resistance causes water to splash up and trick a fish into thinking there's prey struggling on the water surface. Happy fishing. And once you've finished creating your cork popper lure, take a photo, we'd love to see it. Post it on social media and tag us at TackleShare. And let us know if it works out on the water this spring. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the TackleShare YouTube channel to keep more fishing content coming your way. See you next time.